Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash the latest Lost Kernel uh, on your Samsung Epic Touch 4G. Basically, this kernel is actually a wonderful kernel. Um, it actually helps eliminate loss of signal, the loss of signal issue. What happens is on the Epic Touch, it's a basically an error on all phones, whether you're rooted or not. Uh, what it's going to do is if you have a low signal area and it loses signal, it'll have a, a circle with a line through it up at the top showing you don't have any signal and it will not regain signal unless you power off your phone and turn it back on, which is a real pain because you um, always have to keep checking your phone to make sure that it didn't lose signal in case uh, someone's trying to call you or send you a text, you do have to reboot. Um, but with testing with this kernel it has made it so it has been significantly less compared to stock and rooted so just a heads up there what i'm going to go ahead and click on the link you're going to need to be rooted and have clockwork mod to install this rom so just a heads up i'll uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video it takes you to the android creative syndicate forum uh guys just be sure uh if you're visiting the site just click on an ad or two while you're here uh, it actually supports our developers believe it or not we actually give all our ad money from our site to our developers, to our top developers. So be sure to just click on an ad or two to support the ACS devs. So anyways, a big, big thanks to our head chef, ACS head chef, Chris41G. Uh, amazing guy, does great work. Uh, as you can see, uh, Lost Kernel, it'll give you root and clockwork mod the latest the latest clockwork mod it also installs some very nice tweaks as well so what you're going to need to do is go ahead and cl uh, click on this link standard current build this is the one i'm going to recommend to you current build it's actually the most stable one there is an experimental build if you keep scrolling down down here experimental current build click on that if you want to try it it's basically an experimental build don't use teg rack with the experimental build use uh, voltage controller set cpu to over overclock the experimental but anyways current build right here click on it download it uh, it'll be a zip file it'll look like this right here lost kernel latest dot zip what you're gonna need to do is put that in your SD card or internal SD card does not matter go ahead and plug your phone into your PC and once your phone is plugged in I'm gonna go ahead and hit select copy and hit connect USB storage it's gonna go ahead and connect uh, I'm running the nothing but honey theme on my epic touch I will be uploading a video for that very shortly so stay tuned for that uh, anyways once your phone has plugged into your uh, PC go ahead and hit, just hit open folder to view files hit downloads go to your lost kernel latest.zip and just drag that zip file over to either your internal or external SD card transfer it on over it's not a big file it won't take long and once that's done right click hit it eject and then eject the other one as well so eject both of those once they're both ejected you can go ahead and unplug your phone from your PC and once that zips on your SD card go ahead and power off your phone so let it power on down uh, this kernel also does add tweaks it uh, fixes some Wi-Fi drivers which will help eliminate memory leaks uh, basically, uh, it has, as I said, cl the latest Clockwork Mod 5. It's got the latest Super User. Those are upgradable as well, which is very nice. It has a touchscreen lag fix. got some driver tweaks. Basically, overall, uh, some, some awesome tweaks. It is overclockable as well. So just a heads up there. So once, my phone, once your phone has powered off, you're going to need to boot into Clockwork Mod. To do so, you press volume up and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those at the same time should take you into clockwork mod keep holding it it'll reboot your phone twice and then it'll go into clockwork mod so just be patient keep holding it down and as you can see clockwork mod based recovery version 5.0.2.3 what i'm going to actually recommend that you guys do is go down to wipe cache partition and then hit yes wipe cache whenever you flash a kernel through Clockwork mod, this will be your process that you're going to want to follow. Hit advanced and then hit wipe Dalvik cache and then hit, whoops, sorry, hit Dalvik cache and then hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. So wipe your cache, wipe your Dalvik cache, and once those are done, you can go ahead and install your kernel. Hit go back, installs it from SD card, choose it from SD card, then, uh, or choose it from SD card or choose it from internal SD card, wherever you put it. I'm going to go ahead and go to internal and then navigate to wherever you put the, uh, basically the kernel. 
So uh, it's called Lost Kernel Latest.zip. Select it and hit yes. Install Lost Kernel Latest.zip. It's going to go ahead and install the Lost Kernel for you. Nice uh, play on words with the lost name LOS, loss of signal, which is LOS stands for loss of signal. So very nice there since it is uh, basically helps fix loss of signal. But anyways, hit go back once it's done installing. Just hit reboot system now. It might take a little while on first boot up since Dalvin Cache was wiped. So be patient with that first boot up. And once it boots up, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys you're running the lost kernel. All right, now my phone has booted back up. I'm now running the Lost Kernel on my Samsung Epic Touch 4G. So I'll go ahead and hit Menu, go to Settings, scroll down to About Phone, and then under Kernel Version, as you can see, 2.6.35.7 Lost Kernel right there. So there you go, now you're running your Lost Kernel, so you're good to go, uh, which is very nice uh, because I know I won't have to be checking my signal as often because it definitely helps eliminate loss of signal for sure. So anyways, if you do have any questions, run into any problems at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you guys out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys.